Hello everyone and welcome back to the shed. Well at long last I've got me lathe and uh, it's all set up and raring to go. Before I take you over to the lathe and uh, show you what the project's going to be, um, I'd just like to give a shout out to my friend Jeff. Um, his, Jeff's got a channel called Love Word and he really does deserve a lot more subscribers than what he's got. So please have a look in the description below for his uh, channel and uh, have a look at Jeff's uh, work, what he does. You won't be disappointed. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. It's the Coronet Herald and I'm really pleased with it. The quality is outstanding. Chuck there a piece of ash. So uh, I've been dying to try it out and uh, let's make a little box. Might even make a little spoon to go with it as well. I'm going to go for um, a smock shape, uh, shaped box. some bug holes in there, <laughs> never mind. I might be able to turn them out I think. Oh, some there are quite deep. It's nearly got them out. A little bit more. That's it, that do. I'm just going to uh, mark where I want to part it off. We'll have the lid. There. Okay. What did we do? I forgot to put a tenon on the uh, lid end. Um, so what I did, I got some scrap wood and um, hot glued a piece on the end so that can go in the chuck when I part the lid from the body. Okay, let's start, try again. I'll start sanding from 150 and then work my way down to 400. I shan't show it all, uh, then we'll get on with the hollowing out of the box. Finishing it off with the 400. Sanding sealer. Still a bit of a bug hole in there, but uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. 
Okay, I'll let that dry and then I'll come back and get some uh, abrasive paste on it. Be back in a few minutes. on it. Lovely old job. Okay, let's part this off. near enough the thickness I want. Okay, just need sanding up now. I'm not going to uh, put any finish in it since it's going to hold um, food stuffs. So I'm just going to sand it down to um, 400 and then um, leave it at that. Okay, let's uh, hollow out uh, the lid, or part of the lid. You might notice I've put a, a more sturdier block in there and glued it on. That one was a bit flimsy, so there we go. I've just swapped that background in the uh, chuck and I've got a nice fit on the uh, on the body of the um, box and I'm going to uh, get my um, hot air gun and uh, just melt this glue block off and then finish the outside of the top
and then before it re-hardens you can just uh, peel it off okay there we go right now to finish the the top of the lid off Nicely dished out, sanded down to 400. To put a bit of um, sanding sealer in there. Okay, just finish this uh, little bit on there and give it a final buff up and that'll be that done and then we'll move on to making a little spoon for it. That's the box finished. Sanded, bit of detailing in there, the lid, nice fit. Making the spoon jig, they can be any size. This is a piece of scrap ash, and the hole is bored through the centre, and that's a 12 mil hole. Hollow it out, but not too thin. Then cut some slots and using a knife or small chisel widen the slots. Find a suitable jubilee clip or hose clip and soak it in some linseed or tongue oil to help make it supple. While that jig is soaking in some uh, tongue oil I've made a start on the actual spoon. So the idea is to get a, a ball at one end and then make a handle. Just going through the grits, and again, no finish as such on it. And it's been sanded down to 400. And then we'll see if that fit in that jig. Right, I'm going to part this off. So I'll just tidy this end up.
be aware of the uh, propeller. The spoon, the lid, and the little box. I'm pleased how they turned out and I've broken my new lathe in. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this uh, little box and uh, the little spoon that goes with it. I think, I'm not sure, um, I think I've got the idea from the, of the spoon from Carl Jacobson. I remember making one, I can't remember, it was a long while ago. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little video and once again, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, a subscription would be most welcome. Until the next time, catch you later.